Hi guys, Nick Hammond here with the ABGA, JABGA National Carcass Contest. Just going to go over exactly what the National Contest, Carcass Contest is all about. What we measure, how we measure it, how we place the goats. So to get started, give you a little background. Uh, there is no USDA certification. There's really no standardization of goat carcass grading. So we looked to the sheep industry. We went to some industry experts. I went to the folks who do this for Houston and San Antonio and actually went in the cooler with them virtually and looked at goat carcasses and kind of decided exactly what we need to measure and how the placing process goes as well. To get started on the measuring process, first thing we look at is fat thickness, three quarters of the way over the loin eye, and you can see most goats have almost zero. They'll have somewhere between zero, 0 0.05, maybe 0.1 inches of back fat over that loin. So the next thing we measure is the fat thickness or the body wall thickness. Because there's not a lot of variation on goats on the back fat, we go to the body wall, which is one inch past the loin eye, we measure the thickness of the body wall. So this goat measures 1.1 inches, which is a lot, but he's our heaviest goat that we have. The next thing we'll look at is the loin eye area. So we have a grid put out by Iowa State University used for measuring sheep and pork carcasses. We simply lay that grid on there, and in goats, we typically line up the two inch square for every one dot is 0.5 square inches of loin eye. So I measure how many dots are outside of this square, and then potentially how many dots inside the square are actually not part of the loin eye. So this animal would have the two inch square totally covered, plus another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 dots. So roughly he would have 53 dots. Then you divide that by 0.5, you get the square inches of loin eye. Another measurement we look at is more of a visual appraisal. We do a leg confirmation score. So on a score of zero to 15, 15 being extremely shapely, extremely bulging, 10 probably being around average, this one, I believe we scored it a 14 or so. Got a lot of shape, a lot of muscle shape. Then we do the same thing with the overall carcass confirmation. And this is generally on a score of one to three. Three would be very lean. They say, in the books, they say it looks like a skinned jackrabbit. No shape, no muscle shape. One would be super muscular. So this one would definitely fall into the one category. And then I gave them different degrees within that. So probably in the upper half of one, I don't remember exactly what we called it, I'm guessing 140-ish, somewhere in there would be what we would score this animal. The other things we look at on the goat carcasses are the KPH, or kidney pelvic heart fat. That is the amount of internal fat in these goats. Generally, if it hangs down to about the navel, they're at 1% KPH. If it's up in the flank, they're still at about a 0.5%. And if it were to proceed all the way down into the chest floor, it would be closer to a 2% KPH. That helps us figure the cutability of these animals or how much actual red meat is there so we're not measuring this fat as something we're actually going to eat. Although it does have some value for some products. We also take a leg circumference measurement I'll get out my tape measure and show you how we do that. So we have a tape measure in centimeters. I would get down into the twist as far as I can, go directly horizontally around the goat, and look at the number of centimeters. This one would measure about a 32 or so. We would do that for each side and then average those two sides so we make sure we get a really good score. So that basically is everything we measure here in the cooler. Then we go into the office and we calculate some things like cutability, percent closely trimmed retail cuts, dressing percentage, which is a calculation based on their live weight, divided by their carcass weight, which we have posted on every carcass. So we take all these weights and measures, we go inside, we do our calculations, Obviously, we're looking for higher cutability animals with a higher percent of boneless, closely trimmed retail cuts. And then once we have that kind of figured out, a lot of it goes on their confirmation score. We still do want a good looking carcass. We want a shapely carcass. We want a carcass with a high leg confirmation score 
a high or low overall body confirmation score. So a carcass that would score body confirmation down into the one. So basically now we're going to go through, we're going to film every carcass. For those of you out there who want to see a specific goat, we'll match it to the carcass number to their ear tag number so that all the kids and all the exhibitors get a chance to see what their goat exactly looked like. And then we'll work on placing these animals. This is carcass number 26, carcass weight 68.5 pounds. 25, carcass weight 60.5 pounds. 24, carcass weight 49.5 pounds. Carcass 23, carcass weight 57.5 pounds. Carcass 22, carcass weight 52.5 pounds. Carcass 21, carcass weight 45.5 pounds. Carcass 20, Carcass weight, 43.5 pounds. Carcass number 19, carcass weight, 48.5 pounds. Carcass weight 18, carcass number 18, carcass weight, 53.5 pounds. 15, carcass weight, 46.5 pounds. 16. Carcass number 16, Carcass weight, 46 pounds. 15. Carcass number 15. Carcass weight, 42.5 pounds. 14. 43 and a half. Carcass number 14. Carcass weight, 43.5 pounds. 13. 43. Carcass number 13. Carcass weight, 43 pounds. 12, 49 and a half. Carcass number 12, carcass weight, 49 and a half pounds. Carcass number 11, carcass weight, 41 and a half pounds. 10. This carcass number 10, carcass weight, 40 and a half pounds. Carcass number nine, carcass weight, 35. Okay. This is carcass number eight, carcass weight, 38 and a half pounds. Okay. Seven. Carcass number seven, carcass weight, 36 and a half pounds. Carcass number six, carcass weight, 38 and a half pounds. Carcass number five, carcass weight, 34 pounds. Carcass number four, carcass weight, 35 pounds. Carcass number three, carcass weight, 32 and a half pounds. Carcass number two, carcass weight 29 and a half pounds. Carcass number one, carcass weight 26 and a half pounds.